I just want to talk a little bit about saving your work with Windows Movie Maker. If you are working with a project that you haven't finished with, then you will need to save your Movie Maker project. Only by saving it as a Movie Maker project file will you be able to reopen it, come back to it, and edit it in the future. So let's do this. We'll do File and just choose Save Project. Or if it's if you've saved it before and you want to change its name, you could choose Save Project as. So save project, and it's going to put it in your videos folder. You can change it somewhere else. And you'll notice it's saving it as a min Windows Movie Maker project, Microsoft Windows Movie Maker extension. That's not a file type that can be saved by, can be read by any other applications. It's Windows Movie Maker only. And so you will come back to this for future editing. Okay. So now I see it's called Flowers up in the title bar of the window. Again, this is not a file you can play with Windows Movie, Windows Media Viewer. It's not a file you could upload to your website or put on your um, portable video player, but it's something that you can come back to later and work with. I'll show you in a moment how to save it to your computer for future use. One last step, and that's to save your movie project in a file format that's portable from program to program. This is very analogous to the way you had to save your Pixlr projects out of the specific Pixlr file format into JPEG. And you remember you had to save your minor projects out of the egg file format into mp3 to be portable here you want to save your save your project to a windows media video or some such analogous and so to do that you're going to click the save to my computer okay so we're going to save it as flowers <coughs> and you can save it to wherever you want to save it to i'm going to save it to that folder and click next Oh, silly me. Flowers movie project. That should work. And click next. And it's going to save it as Windows Media. And I'm just going to choose the best quality for playback. And we just have to, it does take a few minutes to transfer file formats. So we'll just let it go by. Okay, and we don't need to play the movie, so we're just going to click Finish. And now you have that on your hard drive, and you can upload it to the Dropbox as the Windows Media Video format, or you can email it to a friend, you can put it on your website, all kinds of possibilities. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll do a couple of projects to wrap up the week's work. And then next week we'll work with actual video as well as just still pictures.